Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Mom Life 7. Today I'm welcoming everyone into my kitchen. Uh, today you're going to be cooking with The Mom Life. Uh, today on the menu is chicken and dumplings. Uh, why so? Well, it's been it's been like bone chilling cold lately. And I'm still under the weather. I'm still having a hard time uh, shaking this sinus infection. So I've been feeling, you know, sick. And I've been wanting some soup for a minute now. So I decided to whip up some uh, a quick and easy uh, chicken and dumplings. And I wanted to invite you all into my kitchen so um, I can share with you how I do it. All right. So anyway, I have a, a bag of boneless, skinless breasts. And uh, oh, and uh, let me before I really get started, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please give me a big thumbs up, y'all. I need y'all support. Um, you know, I know I've been just pity patting around the cooking, which my channel was supposed to be primarily cooking, and it's been mostly 99 cent store hauls. But I'm about to, I see I'm gonna have to go a little hardcore to get you guys' attention in here, <laughs> you know, and show you guys what I really can do in the kitchen. So. Um, that's what I plan to do in the future, and I'm gonna, uh, you know, start incorporating a lot more uh, cooking into my channel. And um, yeah, like I said, um, you know, just uh, keep supporting me, and I appreciate you all. You all, I see my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, and I uh, thank everyone else, and I appreciate the support, and I appreciate all the kind comments and thoughts. And okay, let's get into this recipe. Okay, so I have a bag of boneless uh, skinless breasts, as I said, it's, it came out to be about five of them. So I'm going to season them with some uh, lari seasoning salt. I say, you know, if you want to use, the, uh, well, I, I, don't, I don't do dark meat. So <laughs> if you want to use a different type of chicken or if you want to use the bone in, um, you know, half breast, split breast or whatever, then, you know, go right ahead. This is just my quick way of <laughs> doing it, you know, instead of having to, you know, well, I know you get, if you use the bone in chicken, it'd probably give you a little more flavor you know but uh you know for time's sake i'm just gonna hey do it my little quick and easy way now i have some black pepper you guys and you pretty much season it to taste you know if you have dietary restrictions where you can't have a lot of salt or a lot of seasoning you know then do what you do you know all right we also have a little bit of paprika Flip it over. Now I'm going to season the other side. Okay. So I got my cast iron skillet hot with some vegetable oil. So I'm about to sear the chicken and give it some color. Okay guys, right here, I'm searing the chicken breast on each side. I just want to get some color to them. I also want to sear in the seasonings as well. Um, these breasts are pretty thick, so they're not going to cook all the way through. And that's okay because I'm going to let them rest. Once I let them rest and, you know, like cool completely, then I'm going to cut them up into bite-sized pieces and then I'm going to add them into my soup base. Um, like I say, by these being kind of thick, you can also choose to pound yours out with a mallet if you choose to, but I didn't just do, you know, just do, do that this time. Um, and you also want to make sure that your oil is really hot before you add it, you know, add your chicken in there because, you know, you want to just get that color. Like I said, locking those flavors. Um, I had to basically do a voiceover on this part because the singing noise was so loud and my exhaust fan was so loud that you could barely hear me. And like I said, I've been kind of under the weather, so my voice had dropped so low you can hear me. My energy is low. <laughs> it was late at night, so hey, yeah, this is what I had to do. But yeah, like I said, just get that color to them, um, let them cool, uh, cut them up. And then add them back to your soup and you should be just fine i'm turning my exhaust fan down a little bit so you guys can hear me a little bit because i know it's kind of loud with this steering and then exhaust fan so i'm gonna put these over here on my right here i'm just steering my last right two boneless skin this chicken up. breast yeah. 
Okay guys, I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil to my pot. Okay, okay I'm right just gonna here. let this get hot. Let this heat up make sure it's hot. I got one whole before I start adding my aromatics to it. And I'm going to let that, um, you know, sweat for a couple minutes until it gets translucent. translucent. Um, also, I normally add butter instead of vegetable oil, but uh, my mind was going <laughs> at the time. But sometimes I do add oil and butter. <laughs> so, But, you know, normally I would put butter and then, you know, maybe add a little bit of oil. Um, I'm adding a little more vegetable oil at this point right here. But uh, yeah, and just letting them sweat out, sweat, and then I'm adding some salt and some pepper, and then, um, like I said, you're just gonna let those sweat out. I have some chopped garlic, probably like about five or six cloves. Chopped garlic. Let's have one. Okay, uh, sorry guys. Yeah. I had to end up doing another voiceover, as you see. I was just continue. I'm just continue in this segment. I'm just continuing to let the garlic and uh, onion uh, saute in the vegetable oil. I added a little more vegetable oil, and then I'm going to start to add my flour because I'm making like a little roux, a thickening agent for the uh, base of the soup. And I'm going to like let it cook down to cook the flour taste off, off of it, um, out of it. And I'm going to also uh, just continue to add more flour until I get it to the right consistency that I want it to be. Okay guys, I'm adding in a couple of bay leaves, letting that saute in there, and then I'm at the point where I'm getting ready to add the chicken broth. I have some um, Swanson's low sodium chicken broth. Um, I believe I added um, three cartons total, uh, adding one at a time and stirring after each, you know, just to, um, you know, see how much liquid I think I needed for my uh, soup base. So here's the first uh, carton and then I'm going to just keep continuing to add, um, you know, slowly add them until I get all three cartons added. They don't all have to be chicken breast. I can add maybe two or three parts, depending on how much soup I'm making. Two cartons, and I'm probably going to go in with another one. I only had bought two. I had one here, but it's not a low sodium one. But I'm going to go ahead and add that one in here with it as well. Get him in that third party. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I'm using one of my wooden, my new wooden spoons that I bought from the 99 cent store. <laughs> Or whatever you do. So, do this. 
seasoning. And hit it with some kosher salt. And we're seasoning salt. And you just basically season the taste, you know, whatever your taste is. Some more paprika. Can you hand me some uh, cumin? Alright. I'm going to add my carrots and celery. I've cut up um, about four celery stalks. Six carrots. They weren't that big, so I'm going to add in my um, carrots and celery. <laughs> at Winco like I do. I shop everywhere. <laughs> uh, that's why this is cumin is in the bag. I'll go in the bulk section because you can save a lot of spices there. So yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of cumin. Alright. And just because I like the way it looks, but I'm going to add more later on at the end. It's important. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook, you know, come up, bring it up to a bowl and let it, uh, let it boil, let the uh, vegetables start to get tender, and then I'm, in the meantime, I'm about to get ready to, um, cut up that chicken breast that I have resting over here. Okay, so I have my chicken breast that's been sitting over here resting, so I'm about to get ready to, to cut this up so I can add it to the soup, you guys, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so... These are, uh, this is one of the chicken breasts that I let rest, that I, um, you know, I just pretty much brown, seared on each side. And like I said, it's not fully cooked. Because it's breast, so I don't want it to dry out, so I don't cook them all the way. Well, this one looks like a, because this is one of the smaller ones. But anyway, all you're going to do is just, you know, cut it up with bite-sized pieces. I mean, if you, you know, ha uh, don't have time to do a step like this, then you could probably always get a, you know, rotisserie chicken and, you know, debone that shred that or cut that up into bite-sized pieces for your chicken and dumplings if you like you know uh, like I say if you you know some people like like thighs or something like that or you might want to take a whole chicken and boil you might want to get the split uh, half breast or whatever with the bone in and like I say I just this is what easy for me is just to basically you feel me uh, get a boneless skinless breast brown them out sear you know and then cut them up into, you know, bite-sized pieces or whatever. Okay, right here, I'm getting ready to add in my chicken that I uh, right seared right. and uh, cut up into bite-sized pieces. So I'm gonna add all that in there. Like I said, it was about, what, about five, I think? About five boneless skinless breasts that I, um, you know, seared, got some color on them and um, let them cool down and then I cut them up into bite-sized pieces and I'm just getting all that inside the soup. And they're going to continue to cook inside this hot, steamy pot. So I'm going to let these cook down for about maybe about 25, 30 minutes or so to let the flavors marry. Okay, guys. For, so what I use for my dumplings. <laughs> The quick and easy way for me is I always use the Grand's uh, buttermilk biscuits, and I cut these up into um, you know size I want my dumplings to be in. Now I've seen people use tortillas. I mean I've seen people make their own homemade dumplings. If that's your thing, then do that. But for time's sake, this is what I do for my family. I got two cans here. It just depends on what size uh, soup I'm making, how many cans I use. But you know I want. They have a lot of dumplings in it today so uh yeah anyway i'm gonna cut these up i can't open the can because i'm scared of the can so i'm gonna have someone open the can for me and then i'll show you how i cut them up okay 
Okay, so I think you get about eight in here because it's two. Let's see, that's three, four, five. Yeah, so it's five, six, seven. Yeah, you get like eight of them in here. So it just depends on the size you want your dumplings. I'm just gonna uh, quarter mine. This is two, so this is gonna be separated anyway. And then I'm gonna drop these into my pot, you know. You can make them, you know, smaller or bigger, however you want to do them, but this is the size. Mine is going to be about today. Like something like this one, I might go and cut one more time just to make sure I have enough. But I, I, I have two cans, by the way, so anyway, you can, you know, use whatever you want to use for dumplings. This is just what I use, so I'll do mine. Let's break them up and they're gonna go into the pot all right okay guys I'm also going to be making some um, homemade sweet cornbread so in this bowl I have about a cup of yellow cornmeal and I have a cup of flour I have about two-thirds um, cup of sugar I have a tablespoon of baking powder and I have about a half a teaspoon of salt so that's all my dry ingredients so I'm gonna get all these um, combined and then I'll show you what I do for my wet ingredients. Okay, I have about a one and one fourth cup of whole milk. I'm using whole milk today. Um, if I have it, sometimes I use buttermilk sometimes. <laughs> you know, if I have it, and I uh, I beat two eggs. There's all my wet ingredients. Well, not all, of them, but part of my wet ingredients. Okay. I also have um, over here. I just melted a stick of butter, and then I have one third a cup of uh, vegetable oil warming uh, or heat getting hot in the oven in the pan. So I'm just waiting on my butter to cool, cool enough to put it in here with the eggs and milk. And then that's my one stick of melted butter. I'm just putting all that together. And I'm going to add my wet. Okay, guys. Sorry for the stain. All right. My everything, uh, everything's been boiling. Um, I let it boil maybe about 10 15 minutes um, before I added the chicken. That, that was just the carrots and um, celery and onions and garlic and all that stuff. The base of my soup. Now, the fun part, my favorite part that lets me know I'm almost done, is adding the dumplings. So, you're just gonna remember I cut up those uh, Pillsbury Grand biscuits. So, I'm just gonna start. I'm dropping my dumplings in here. I guess after um, I added the chicken, I probably let it boil another, you know, 20, 25, maybe 30 minutes or so. And now I'm just trying to carefully add these dumplings in there. I don't want it to splash back on me. And this is obviously going to thicken it. So I have one more, oh, maybe two more steps after this. matter at this point. I'm going to taste it after I add the dumplings. Let them cook for a minute to see, you know, where my, um, how my flavors are doing. Do I need any more salt or anything? Need more seasoning? Because see, this is going to start to thicken it even more. So, I'm going to end up adding more liquid, which at this point, I just pretty much add more water if needed. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, this is optional. This is what I add some, sometimes. Um, cream mushroom soup. I'm not gonna add this whole can because this is a big can. <laughs> I'm gonna add about half of this can, maybe. That's a nice soup. Thanks. All right here. Get that incorporated in. Sorry about that. Okay. Now I'm gonna. Uh, 
get this incorporated in here and then I'm going to taste it uh, and see if I need any more um, seasoning or anything. As you can see the dumplings. I'm going I'm to pull that big leaf out by the way. You can see my bits of uh, chicken, carrots, all that kind of good stuff. And it's, pretty, it's pretty thick. If you guys can see that or not. All right, so I'm gonna let these dumplings cook a little more, and then I'm gonna come back with the finishing steps. And now I'm about to add the vegetable oil to the cornbread. Should sizzle. Yeah, there you go. Sizzle. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pour that into my glass pan. Okay, so I got everything in here. I just put the uh, batter, cornbread batter, into my uh, uh, glass pan. And I'm going to let this bake okay, in the oven um, for 15 minutes. I have a two-cup measuring cup, so we're going to add like three, five minutes. So it's going to be about four okay. cups of extra wide egg noodles that I'm going to add to my soup. Okay, so my dumplings are ready now. That's really thick, so yeah, I'm gonna add more liquid. Let me add my pasta. So pretty much once I add the pasta, I'm gonna turn it off because the heat from this is gonna cook the pasta and I don't want the pasta to be overcooked. I want it to be a little al dente. Like I said, it's about four cups of pasta. You can, you know, omit this if you want. Um, if you want. Or you know, or add less pasta if you want. Okay, here. Throw this up in. I'm gonna need like two cups of that. So I'm gonna, after I add the water, I'm gonna pretty much turn this off, guys. And of course, I'm gonna remove the bay leaves before serving. See, it's pretty thick. Let's see that. So this is about four cups of water that I'm adding. And you can always, um, you know, recheck, taste it again, and you know, make sure the water didn't dilute too much. Actually, sometimes can you give me a couple of cubes? I should have added early on. Sometimes I'll add a couple of cubes of chicken bouillon cubes. You know, the little chicken bouillon cubes. If I need any more flavor, add it. I'm sure you guys are familiar with, you know, these type of things. If you want to add that, it's optional. I meant to add it earlier. <laughs> I should have mixed it in with my water. <laughs> ah. All right. So like I say, I'm, I'm about to turn this pot off anyway, because I don't want my pasta to overcook. Uh, well, maybe even, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more liquid just to make sure I don't want it to because it's going to thicken like the next day it's going to be even more thicker so you know like I said you can add more broth you can I'm add just more adding water. more parsley here more at the end water. especially since I added that in there I'm gonna turn it down because of you know I already thickened the base in the beginning with the flour and then of course the dumplings has flour in it and then when we add in the pasta that's another thickening agent you know what I'm saying so um, basically that's it for the soup pretty much I'm gonna turn this off and just let the heat continue to cook the pasta I'm gonna cover it with my lid and that's gonna be it Okay, so my cornbread is out the oven. I'm going to put some butter on top of it. I don't know if y'all can hear my son snoring in the background. <laughs> he was too tired to drive back. <laughs> yeah, he has to work tomorrow, so yeah, he's going to leave in the morning. He just ends up staying here. 
And he is snoring so loud. So, so loud. Definitely gonna have some music in the background of this video. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna come back, you guys, with um, I'm gonna um, plate up or bowl up, shall I say, <laughs> the soup in the cornbread and show you guys the finished results. Okay, okay guys, so everything is done now. Cornbread's out the oven. My soup has been sitting, so I know my pasta should be tender now. Let's see, my chicken and dumplings are ready. So if you're having like a, you know, if you're sick like me or you just want something nice, like, a nice hot soup, you know, give this recipe a try. Give me, me some in the bowl, so I can finally enjoy some soup. I've been wanting some soup for a long time now, y'all. And uh, just been too busy. Too preoccupied to finally make me some, but I'm sick, so hey, here it is. Here, let me get a little bit of it. Alright. So, here it is, you guys. My chicken and dumplings. Right there. You see my chicken. Got some carrots in there. And you see my my dumplings. Yep, it's all in there. Same like that Campbell's <laughs> chicken soup where you had them little bitty pieces of uh, chicken in there. These are some pretty, hey, nice sized pieces, all right? Let me taste it. I'm just gonna taste a little bit of it. It's hot, I don't wanna burn myself though. All right, mm -hmm. all right, it's good. It's really good, y'all. Yeah. All right, you give me some cornbread. Okay, guys, I just cut me a piece of cornbread. It's hot. <laughs> it's really, really hot. Anyway, so yeah, I got my soup. I can sop some of this up with the um, cornbread. And uh, yeah, that's complete, you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for rocking with me, watching me coming coming in the kitchen with me. Um, you know, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna have a lot more cooking videos coming your way. I guess I'm gonna have to come through with a little more complicated stuff. I start tried to start off the beginner range, but I'm not getting that many. Um, I guess I'm I gotta find a way to jump into that uh, cooking arena on uh, on YouTube. So anyway, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and eat my nice hot soup so I can get back in my bed, you guys. And uh, like I say, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I know I just already said that. And I want to thank everybody for the support. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.